If you're sick of taking pain meds, come on a tour with me to the many solutions to body pain. Hi, I'm John Graziano, otherwise known as Johnny Double Pains, and welcome to Modern Pain Relief. I recently got recruited to be your new host because of my passion for the grueling sport of triathlon, which is swim, bike, and run. And when they say no pain, no gain, I gotta tell you, I've got pain and lots of it. Tell me a little bit about what, where your most pain is. What, what bothers you the most? Well, the pain is pretty much coming from the top of my coccyx to the shoulder blades. It's region to the lower oh, part of my back. The whole thing. Yeah, it's pretty consistent all around. Um, I have a very limited mobility of rotation, and, um, and it's something that I've been dealing with since I was a teenager. Was there an injury or an accident or anything? Yeah, well, as a teenager in high school, I was um, in an accident with a car where I was wearing the seat belt that was just the lap belt, no shoulder belt. And uh, for my senior year of high school, most people went out to lunch and hung out. I went out to lunch and went to the therapy. Um, I had to have uh, gamma rays and x-rays and really just work on my back every day for my senior year. Years went by, I was pretty complacent and I gained weight and of course, you know, weak abs, weak back, everything was just pain every day, you know? Um, and I decided I needed to make a change. I found triathlon and P90X and some wonderful things that have uh, made me become a lot more fit. Right. And uh, now I'm in the world of triathlon. And uh, every day I train with pain, I race with pain, I live with pain. Yeah. Triathlon also, you know, certainly it's a great, it's a great exercise, but my feeling about it, and I think a lot of guys who do pain and, and, and physical therapy, we kind of feel like, the body's not intended to do that. I mean, we're not designed that for that. Mm. So that kind of stuff could actually be making things worse in, in, in a way. Um, but depending upon what the original injury was and, and, and what's going on right now, you know, there might be some things that we could do to help. Huh. Um, That's music to my ears. You know, uh, we, we'd have to do some tests. Okay. Uh, maybe get some, some x-rays or uh, certainly examine you to start off with um, and see what we can do. So there's, there's a lot that's being done with stem cells. Um, most of it good. I'm a general surgeon. So when I take out a gallbladder, um, I take away pain but create different pain. Mm. Um, and the same thing with most of the operations that I do. So this is a very different thing. Um, when we harvest the stem cells and then re-inject them, um, two things. I, I, don't never know if they, I never know if they're going to work. Um, it's not like when I do an operation to, to, to take out a gallbladder, take an appendix, I know patients are going to feel better because I'm taking out that organ. When I do this, you never know for sure if the cells are going to work. Because all I'm doing is taking your stem cells from one part of your body and putting them to another part of the body, and then they do the rest. Um, they're pretty amazing, but it doesn't always work. Um, and, and it depends upon what we're treating. Um, we have some good studies that we rely on, so we know certain things work very, very well. We know that hidden knees work very well. 80% of the time, patients get relief. Hips, for some reason, not so much. We don't know why. We think it might be dose-related, um, but we don't know. 